Hey guys, so today I'm going to be looking at people who got fired on the first day. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. Boss hired a new woman for help around the office. Her first day she showed up on time and jumped right into helping out. Seemed like a good hire at first. Then the police showed up and arrested her for putting her two-year-old in a home-built cage at home that morning and left the kid alone because she didn't want to pay for daycare. What the hell is wrong with you? If you're gonna treat your kid like that, don't have kids. I hope someone else takes care of that kid, man. Dude interviewed well, showed up on his first Monday at the office, drunk, slurring, stumbling, trying to use the coffee machine and just spewing coffee all over the floor. Security walked him out within the first hour. Well, that's not way to screw up. What the hell? It's so hard to find jobs these days and this guy got it, but he just effed up like that really why would you turn up to work drunk school bus driver first day on the job after a month of training she was seen talking on a cell phone while driving a bus full of kids are you kidding me mm. guy came back from lunch high out of his mind and then we found his instagram video shouting out the company and tagging us while he was smoking out of three different devices in his car at the gas station a block away within minutes because it popped up in our social media manager's feed that's crazy. Smoking at a gas station and then tagging your company is wild. <laughs> we were in a rut and desperately needed people, so my boss told me to lower my standards. Commercial driving job and I had disqualified like four candidates, all warranted in my opinion. I said fine, I'll try, and he sends me a student from my driving school. First three days are classroom, last two days are for driving. This man shows up, late, no uniform, we bought him one. I ask him where his uniform is, left it at home. I say okay, you can have someone bring it on lunch, let me see your driver's license. He says he also left that at home. I say, how do you show up to be a driver on your first date late without your uniform and license? He says, sorry, he overslept. I fired him on the spot. He cussed me out and walked away. My boss started to scold me until I told him what happened. He stopped. How do you turn up to a driving job without your license, without your uniform? That's, that's crazy, dude. Some people are crazy. Really? People actually live like that? That's crazy. I'm the type of person who will turn up like 30 minutes early, just in case. No way, people live their lives so stress-free like that, you know? Crazy. Dude, I started with during an overnight. Locked in stock in position at Toys R Us went absolutely mental. He worked about one quarter of the shift, then started talking complete madness, then disappeared entirely. As in, we couldn't find him anywhere. We'd see evidence he was still in the store, but we didn't see or hear him at all. After a couple hours of this, he would suddenly leap into whatever eye we were in and just start shrieking or laughing manically or literally throwing merchandise at us. Bizarrely, he tried to show up the next day as if he was unaware of what went down. The lead guy said that happened a lot. Dudes just couldn't handle being locked in a silent, empty store all night. Why do you think we were hiring three guys at once for a six-man crew? What the hell? He went crazy. Imagine walking into a store and one of the workers is acting like that. Oh, no, thank you, kids, get out of here. I started on the same day as another woman. At one point, I started cracking a few bad dad jokes to break the ice a bit. She then said, oh, I've got one, and then proceeds to reel off some of the most racist jokes I've ever heard. She went to lunch and never came back. Not day one, but day five. I hired a woman who interviewed very well. Her job was admin, taking calls and scheduling appointments, creating a schedule for 17 salespeople. Not very intense. She was in training. Two different people would be training her, alternating days. Day one, all was fine. Day two, just a normal feedback on how fast she was picking things up. Day three, feedback was that the trainer thinks the new person was fondling herself at her desk. She questioned what she saw, but wanted it noted. Day four, feedback from the other trainer mimicked what the first had seen, but was adamant it happened. And the new person was wearing a skirt every day and touching the desk and the phones and the logbook and the pens and the doorknobs. Day five, lunchtime. New person went to lunch. Both the trainers got someone else to answer the phones while they came to me to report that indeed, the new girl was pleasuring herself at her desk on company time. And what the F is up with that? And why can't she do this at home? And they looked it up and it was an obsession for some people and they didn't want to work with her anymore. So when the new person returned from lunch, I caught her as she got back into the building and said, can you please come into my office? I need to discuss something with you. HR was already in my office. New woman said, I know what this is about. I'll just quit. She left. We mailed her check to her, sanitized the office, got a new chair for that desk and never heard from her again. That's nasty. Are you kidding me? 
Why would you do this at work? Dude, I'd be pissed off if I touched the same phone as she did after she freaking perjured herself. Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? He lasted one day, went for drinks with the team and boss, commented about the boss's 16 year old daughter, and then would just not stop. Is she single? Was the last straw. He did not make it to day two. This guy was 30, and in an 80k year salary and min job, decent money in 2014. But 80k in 2014? Yeah, that's, that's very decent, dude. Very decent. And why the hell is this so common? It's always some guy commenting on the boss's daughter and having a crush on her when she's literally underage. Like, what the hell is wrong with you? He sexually harassed a female colleague who stepped into the HR office immediately. It was on camera too. He didn't even get to unpack his brand new laptop when he was escorted out. First day? Yeah, bye. Showed up in pajamas and when walked to the circulation desk, wrinkled her nose and said she thought she wouldn't have to actually talk to people. The position was titled Circulation and Customer Service. <laughs> she showed up in pajamas and she was like, I didn't think I needed to talk to people. <laughs> nothing, and I mean absolutely nothing. He was just sitting there doing absolutely nothing for like four hours while everyone else was working their ass off. Why do people even look for jobs if they're going to be like this? Come on now. If you don't want to do anything, just stay unemployed. New hire's first day as an usher at a movie theater. I was training them and he just vanished. Showed up again a few hours later. Turns out he went and watched a whole movie from beginning to end. We were slow and you said there wasn't much more to train on. And you said we can watch stuff on shift. It was the excuse. He severely misunderstood when it's slow you have some free time comments. Like man, there's more to cover and we don't just watch a whole movie. If there isn't much to do and the right folks are on the shift, you can watch a few minutes here and there. As an usher, it's assumed if you're not seen, you're off doing your job somewhere. That's, that's crazy. Imagine watching a full movie while on the job. Are these people like empty in the head? Like what? <laughs> Man just freaking fell asleep in the movie theaters while watching the movies, dude. Three hours. Okay. Worked at a takeout counter, was training the new guy, constantly spilled food on his hands and fingers while filling up containers. Decided the best way to clean it off was with his mouth and tongue in front of customers. <gasps> what? You want to be a customer and you order this drink? And then this worker would be like... <laughs> and then hand it to you are you kidding me are you freaking kidding me this reminds me of the pranks that i would watch just for laughs yeah they would do pranks like that and it would be funny because it's a prank and then i actually give it to the customer but man that's wild well that's it for the video hope you guys enjoy tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are and as always thanks for watching hope you guys liked it and i'll see you guys next time bye